In this video, you will learn how to assess misalignment between shafts using the rim and face indicator method. The single dial indicator alignment method is almost similar to the straight edge method. The dial indicators, however, increase the precision alignment as compared to the straight edge feeler gauge alignment. Here are the main steps to align a coupling using a single dial indicator. Make sure the base plate is clean and stable. Check runout for both the driven and driver shaft couples. Check both the driven and driver components for soft foot, mount locations with unwanted play. Begin by mounting the dial indicator such that the probe is touching a smooth surface on the back of the driver coupling, since it is typically easier to adjust the motor than it is the device being driven. Ensure the indicator is perpendicular to the couple surface to minimize cosine measurement error. Rotate the bezel face scale so zero is aligned with the indicator needle. Let's measure the vertical axial angular misalignment over a 180 degree rotation of the shaft couple. With the couplings at zero degrees starting position, draw a chalk mark across the hubs. With the chalk marks at zero degrees, Record the measurement reading visible on the face of the dial indicator. Rotate the shaft couplings and the indicator so the chalk marks are positioned at 180 degrees. Record the measurement reading of the dial indicator. Subtracting the second value from the first will give you a linear measure of the vertical angular misalignment. Multiply this value with the ratio of the distance between motor mount bolt down points to the coupling hub diameter, where the indicator travels along the couple face. This will give you the thickness of shims to be used for correcting the misalignment. Let's now measure the vertical parallel alignment. First, reposition the dial indicator so the probe reads the hub's rim center from the top with the chalk marks positioned at zero degrees. Record the reading on the rim dial indicator. Rotate the coupling and indicator to 180 degrees to record the indicator reading again. Subtracting the second value from the first will give you the total indicator reading, or TIR. The vertical parallel misalignment is half of this value. To correct this misalignment, the motor should be shimmed equally by the amount of parallel misalignment calculated at the front and rear motor foot. Perform the horizontal angular misalignment check with the chalk marks positioned at 90 and 270 degrees in the same manner as done for the vertical angular. The difference between the two values will give you the horizontal angular misalignment. However, this misalignment is corrected by sliding the front and or rear of the motor to adjust the angle of the motor, and not by adding shims. Perform the horizontal parallel misalignment check with the chalk marks positioned at 90 and 270 degrees, in the same manner as done for the vertical parallel. The difference between the two values will give you the horizontal parallel misalignment. This misalignment is corrected by evenly sliding the motor perpendicular to its shaft axis until the indicator reads the same value at 90 and 270. The difference between the two values will give you the total indicator reading, and dividing it by two will give you the horizontal parallel misalignment. However, this misalignment is corrected by adjusting the motor and not by adding shims. Recheck the horizontal parallel alignment and then the horizontal angular alignment. Adjust the motor position until the alignments are within 0.002 inches or better. At the end of each alignment, repeat the steps to ensure that the couplings are aligned. There may be some allowable misalignment for different coupling types. Check with the manufacturer to be sure. The dual indicator alignment method also follows the same steps as the single indicator method. The indicator on the face of the coupling always measures angular misalignment, and the other indicator, the one on the rim of the coupling, always measures parallel misalignment.